Hey, it's Michael J. And I am getting ready for the first day of rehearsal for the Royal Family, which opens November 11th. We've got a circle of chairs over here for the first read through and the set's already in progress over here. So we're ready to go. As you can see, we've got the balcony platform up here and part of the back wall. And there's gonna be stairs that come down here to this platform and then stairs that come off of here, which are taped out. So we're ready to go. in the costume room and I'm just getting started on getting the costumes going here. Um, I just took all the measurements yesterday of the kids and I have everything worked out on charts here and I've started pulling some things that we have in stock that will work for the boys there and the girls there and their ditty bags are all in place and names on them and unfortunately Nobody who could wear some of these things I have here for them from the 1920s will actually fit the people in the show. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. But so far, so good. The Royal Family was one of the three great collaborations between George S. Kaufman and Edna Ferber. Although the names were changed, everyone knew it was about the Barrymore family. The most famous members of the family, thanks to the movies, are John Barrymore, Ethel Barrymore, and of course, Lionel Barrymore. Frederick March played Tony Cavendish in the original Los Angeles production, which won him the role in the 1930 film version. The first Broadway revival came in 1975 with Rosemary Harris as Julie, who came back to play the older Fanny Cavendish in the 2009 revival with Jan Maxwell as Julie. I know it says in the contract that you stop for acts of God, but I don't remember that I ever did. No, nor I, nor your grandfather. 
Oh, nobody ever knew what a sick man Aubrey Cavendish was those last months. But he played a full season of 35 weeks, dropped dead on the stage of Macaulay's in Louisville two minutes after the curtain fell on Saturday night, the week we closed. <laughs> <laughs> and not only that, but he waited to take four calls. <laughs> Not only is Heather Christensen our technical director, but she's also our fight director. take you on a little tour of the Cavendish family home from the actress point of view. There's all kinds of family photos all over the place. They're actually of the Barrymore family and a few other theatrical folks and images from 1927. Old sheet music on the piano there. I love our little telephone alcove. theater posters, old costume design renderings are on the wall up here, and it really gives it a homey feel for a theatrical family. This is what the actors see when they're at the top of the balcony out there to the house. This picture on the wall is a picture of me, age 18, in The Man Who Came to Dinner. Now let's meet the family. I don't mind. It's dear little brother Tony. Tony. Well, 
see the knob, that phone. Plenty is my guess. Well, the telegram driver's sketchy, but as nearly as I can make out, I gather that he's killed somebody. Oh, anybody we know. So how can you explain this trick entrance? How did you get here? I'll tell you in a minute. First, I want some money. Let's see here. You get $20. He brought me in for Minioma. You get 10 and 10 apiece for those fellows downstairs. Uh, how many are there? Three, sir. Two in the doorman. All right, you take 40 and you take 20. And now remember, you fellows, if any of those reporters asked you, you didn't see me, I never came in here, you don't know anything about me. Do you get that? Yes, sir. I get you. Julie, Julie, let them have the money, will you? Uh, Joe, you attend with my bags and my dress. I'll see you, Julie. Oh, 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 it doesn't amount to anything. I hit him too hard. Oh, how did you start in the first place? Oh, let's hear about it, Tony. Della! Della! <laughs> I haven't had a bite in 12 hours. Bring me everything you've got. <laughs> I'm going to marry Perry Stewart, and there's nothing you can say that'll stop me. Oh, I never heard such shit about this. What am I putting the cabin I was Perry Stewart? I am sick of all this. I am sick of being cabbage. I want to be a human being. A human being. You are a cabbage. I don't want to be. You've got to be. What do you think we've worked so hard all these years for? Mm. I'm trying to come and see if this would like to again. Thank <laughs> you. 